Good afternoon. Apologies for the delay. My name is David Greenfield. I'm a councilman from the 44th Council District in Brooklyn. I'm privileged to serve as the chair of the Land Use Committee. I want to welcome my colleagues who are members of the committee and who have joined with us today. Council Member Pama, Council Member Mealy, Council Member Lander, Council Member Richards, Council Member Cohen, Council Member Kalos, Council Member Reynoso, Council Member Traeger, Council Member Gordenchik, and Chair Salamanca. I want to thank Chair Salamanca, Chair Richards, and Chair Koo for their outstanding work on our land use subcommittees. Today we'll be voting a resolution for six applications that were recommended by the subcommittees. We'll be voting to approve LU 789, the Keough Sidewalk Cafe application in Council Member Chin's district. Council Member Chin supports approval of this applicant's made commitment to limit the hours of the cafe and limit noise generated by the customers. We're voting to approve LU 784, the 449 Broadway Special Permit application, also in Council Member Chin's district. This application would allow for retail use in the portions of the ground floor and the cellar of an existing five-story building. Council Member Chin supports approval after the applicant submitted a letter committed to conducting outreach to find a culturally related tenant and to consult with the Council Member's office prior to choosing any tenant that would use the space for an eating or drinking establishment. We'll be voting to approve with modifications LU 787 and 788, the Myrtle Avenue rezoning in Council Member 11's district. This application for a zoning map amendment and text amendment will facilitate the development of an eight story, 66 unit mixed use development with 25% of the floor area reserved for the affordable housing through MIH option one. We are going to take modifications to this application to remove MIH option two from the rezoning area and to change the proposed R6A zoning district outside of the development site to an R6B district to more closely match existing buildings. Council Member 11 supports approval with these modifications. We're voting to approve pre considered land use application for the landmark designation of the old St. James Episcopal Church in Council Member Drums district. Built between 1735 and 1736, the Old St. James Episcopal Church is a significant for its association with the early colonial settlement of Queens and with the missions activity of the Church of England and the American colonies. A remarkable colonial era mission church that retains its early 18th century rectangular box-like form wood shingle siding, round arched windows, and heavy timber framing. It is New York City's oldest Church of England building and the city's second oldest religious building that is still standing. Council Member Trump supports approval of this designation. We will be voting to approve LU-791, an acquisition and site selection application submitted by the New York City Office of Emergency Management and Department of Administrative Services that seeks to expand an existing OEM warehouse located at 930 Flushing Avenue in Council Marino's district. This application will permit the warehouse to increase from 96,600 square feet to 304,000 square feet. The additional space to this application is needed for the storage of additional emergency equipment and supplies to fully build out the Build Backup Emergency Operations Center. Council Member Reynoso is in support of this acquisition. Finally, we will be voting to approve Pro's introduction number 1692-A, a local law to amend the administrative code of the City of New York in relation to technical corrections to the local law 116 for the year 2017. The bill would make corrections to administrative code section 25-114 as added by local law 116 of 2017. It would amend the construction code by classifying violations of conditions, restrictions, and requirements relating to privately owned public spaces as major violations and would establish a minimum 4,000 penalty for a first violation and a minimum 10,000 penalty for a subsequent violation. We'll now move on to vote on these five applications and a local law before moving on to a vote on our last application. We are voting to approve proposed introduction number 1692-A. On the land use applications, we're voting in accordance with the recommendation of the subcommittees and with the support of the local council members to approve value 784, 789, 791, and the pre-considered landmark designation and approve value 787 and 788 with the modifications that I just described. So to be clear, clerk, we're going to have two votes, yes? Okay, revise that. We are, in fact, going to have one vote on all of the items. And I would like to turn it over to Councilmember Kalos to speak of the intro 1692A, which he is the prime sponsor, and I'm pleased to be the co sponsor along with him. Just want to thank uh, Chair Greenfield for adding a new light to POPs. Uh, some might think pops are just how you say soda in Buffalo and Western New York and other parts of the country, but uh, here in Detroit, uh, but here in New York City, pops are uh, privately owned public spaces and uh, they're often honored in the breach. Councilmember Greenfield uh, held a hearing, our controller uh, held an audit. Uh, we have been all working together on legislation and uh, grateful to be uh, working with our chair on this and hopefully moving forward we'll actually see signs, signage in all of the uh, POPs that actually shows what we're supposed to have there and uh, we'll actually be able to use them regardless of what a security person may say and that there will actually be fines for when people don't follow the rules uh, which should have a huge impact when we see 4,000 for the first offense and 
10,000 or more on second and additional offenses. Thank you to the chair. Absolutely. Thank you, Councilmember Kalos. And uh, just to expand on that, uh, there are approximately 3.2 million square feet of public space in New York City that's known as privately owned public space, where we, as the city, agreed to give developers more ability to build in return for providing these privately owned public space. Some of them are easily accessible. You walk down the street, you see a building, you'll see some seats next to it, and you know that's a public space that is privately owned. Others, unfortunately, are not easily accessible, and so we've held hearings and we've passed legislation to enforce it, to bring signage, to actually have folks come and inspect it as well. And uh, I'm proud to have worked very closely with Councilmember Kalos in this particular legislation. Councilmember Kalos is sponsoring, and I'm co-sponsoring, which would increase the penalties for violations for not allowing the public to access these public spaces. So I want to thank Councilmember Kalos for being a partner with me for the last two years on the POPs-related legislation. I'm very pleased that we're able to get this wrapped up today as well. I also would like to thank uh, the Department of City Planning Director Marissa Lago and General Counsel Anita Lermont for their collaboration on this legislation. I want to thank our land use staff for really tremendous work, probably a thousand plus hours working on this, including our land use director, Raju Mann, Assistant Director Amy Levitan, General Counsel Julie Lubin, Counsel Jeff Campagna. I also want to thank in my own office my counsel Elena Secheva, who is the point person on this, and my Chief of Staff Danny Perlstein for working with me to get this done. It's a, a wonderful achievement, 3.2 million square feet of public space, half of which traditionally has not been accessible. We're finally going to have the enforcement mechanism to actually make sure that the public can access this space. And once again, thank you to Councilmember Kalos for working with me on this for the last two years. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, I will ask the clerk to call the roll. And once again, we will be voting on all of the items. I want to recognize that we've been joined by Chair Ku. We're going to be voting on all the items that are coming out of the subcommittees, including this legislation sponsored by Council Member Kalos, Intro 1692A. Will the clerk please call the roll? Committee Clerk Matthew DiStefano, Committee on Land Use. Roll call vote to approve intro 1692A, LU 784, 789, 791, and the pre-considered LU regarding the old St. James Episcopal Church. And roll call vote to approve with modifications, LU 787 and LU 788. Chair Greenfield. Aye. Palma. Aye. Mealy. Aye. Ku. Aye. Lander. Aye. Richards. Aye. Cohen. <laughs> Kalos. Aye. Reynoso. Uh, permission Aye. to explain my vote? Council Reynoso to explain his vote. Uh, on land use item number 791, I just want to thank uh, New York City OEM for the work that they've done in uh, coming to an agreement with uh, uh, exploring the relocation of NYPD PSA 3's parking facility from 119 North Street to 930 Flushing Avenue in an attempt to build affordable housing on 119 North Street and also allowing for DCAS to have an opportunity to outright acquire the property at 930 Flushing um, with this, uh, with uh, voting to approve, um, again, land use item number 791. Uh, and with that said, I vote, I don't know. Congratulations, council member. Thank you. Traeger. Grodenchik. Aye. Salamanca. Aye. Okay, the following is today's land use committee vote. Um, HO 692A, LU 784, 789, 791, and the pre-considered LU have been approved by a vote of 12 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. LU 787 and LU 788 have been approved with modifications by the same vote of 12 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you, as is our practice. We're going to keep the roll open for 15 more minutes until 12.50 p.m.
C continuation of roll call, Council Member Williams. Aye. The vote now stands at 13 in affirmative, the zero in the negative, and no abstentions on all the items. Thank you. Continuation of roll call, Council Member Gentili. I vote aye and all. Thank you. Continuation of roll call, Committee on Land Use, Councilmember Gorodnik. Thank you, I vote aye. 